Okay, let's talk similar polygons. Similar polygons are sided shapes, obviously shapes that qualify as polygons, meaning they have multiple sides, that are uh, the same shape but are different sizes. In other words, their their sizes and their, their individual corresponding sides are in a ratio to one another. So if we have two shapes that are the same in orientation, the same in uh, relative length or distance from one side to the next, but one is just larger than the other, then those two polygons are considered similar. And the important things about that similarity that we're going to be working with here in the next little bit are that when you're talking about length, the similarity is just exactly what the scale factor is. In other words, if my smaller shape here has an M uh, of, say, three units, and my larger shape has an N of five units, then that says that this shape here is three-fifths as big as this shape over here, or that the N shape is five-thirds the, sh the size of the M shape, in other words, almost twice as long. Now that ratio will hold as long as we're measuring just distance. If I'm measuring just one side compared to another side, that ratio will hold. If I'm measuring the distance all the way around the outside of the figure, again, just measuring the distance, then that ratio will still hold. So if we were to measure, say, the perimeter of the M figure here, we'd have 3, 6, 9, 12 units. And if we measure the big one, we'd have 5, 10, 15, 20 units. And whereas their direct scale is 3 to 5, if their perimeters are 12 to 20, you'll see that this fraction, 12 twentieths, would reduce to 3 fifths because that's the same ratio. However, when you're talking about the area of the figure, you're no longer talking about measuring distance. You're talking about measuring area. And area is a squared function. So instead of just adding things up, we're going to be multiplying 3 times 3, and our units will be square units. So our ratio then will be the difference of the squares of the two numbers. Whereas instead of having 3 to 5, our ratio here would be 9 to 25, which is not the same as 3 out of 5. 3 out of 5 is a little more than half, right? Whereas 9 out of 25 is only just a little bit more than a third. So you can see that the ratio changes based on the area, but that finding the area ratio is very easy. You just take the scale factor, in this case 3 out of 5, or 3 fifths, and you square the entire scale factor. So you square the top, 3 squared is 9, and you square the bottom, 5 squared is 25. So the area ratio is going to be 9 out of 5, or 9 out of 25, sorry, 5 squared is 25. It's going to be 9 out of 25 instead of 3 out of 5. And that's really it. So we're going to deal with the perimeters, same as the scale ratio, and the area, which is the square of the scale ratio when we're talking about two different polygons.